Gold is a precious metal that is prized for its beauty and value. It is a chemical element with the symbol AU and the atomic number 79. Unlike other elements, gold is not made through the process of fusion or nuclear reactions. Instead, it is made in the earth through a unique process that is still not fully understood by scientists. We'll take a look at how gold is formed and how it's extracted from the mines. First, let's explore how gold is made in the earth. The earth was formed through a process called accretion, which is the gradual accumulation of matter into large bodies. This process is thought to have occurred over 4.5 billion years ago. As dust and gas swirling around the sun began to clump together through a combination of gravity, heat, and time, these small clumps grew and eventually formed into planets, with the Earth being one of them. When the Earth was first formed, it was a hot, molten mass of rock and other materials. As it cooled and solidified, heavier elements such as gold sank towards the planet's core, where they became trapped deep within the Earth. Over time, the Earth's surface continued to change and evolve. As a result of natural processes such as erosion and the movement of tectonic plates, these processes buried the gold deposits deeper and deeper under layers of rock and other sediment. But how did the gold make its way to the Earth's surface? The movement of the Earth's tectonic plates plays a key role in bringing gold to the surface. As the plates collide and shift, they create huge amounts of pressure and heat, which can cause the surrounding rock to melt and form molten magma. When this molten rock, called magma, rises to the surface, it can cool and solidify into veins of gold. These veins, called iodes, can be found in rock formations all over the world. Over time, these veins of gold can be pushed deeper into the earth by the movement of tectonic plates and brought closer to the surface through the process of erosion. This is why gold deposits are often found in mountainous regions, where the movement of the tectonic plates has created high pressures and temperatures. The movement of tectonic plates also plays a role in the extraction of gold from the earth. As the plates collide and shift, they can create fractures and fault lines in the rock, making it easier for miners to access the gold-bearing veins or iodes. But extracting the gold from these iodes is no easy task. To extract the gold, mining companies use a variety of techniques. The most common method is called open pit mining. In open pit mining, miners remove layers of rock and soil to access the iode. First, they drill holes in the rock and place explosives to blast the rock into manageable pieces. The use of explosives and heavy machinery can pose risks to the miners, and accidents can occur if safety protocols are not followed. Safety is a key concern in the mining industry, and companies must implement strict safety protocols to protect their workers. In addition to the risks posed by the use of explosives and heavy machinery, miners may also face other dangers, such as cave-ins, gas explosions, and exposure to toxic substances. Once the iode is accessed, miners use huge machines, such as excavators and trucks, to scoop up the rock and transport it to the surface. These machines are often very large and can weigh hundreds of tons, so operating them requires skill and training. The rock that is extracted from the mine is then taken to a processing facility where it is crushed and processed to extract the gold. This can be a complex and expensive process, requiring specialized equipment and expertise. Once the gold-bearing rock is brought to the surface, it's sent to a refinery for processing. At the refinery, the rock is crushed into smaller pieces and mixed with water and chemicals to create a slurry. Once the gold-bearing ore has been crushed and leached with cyanide, the resulting slurry is then treated with air bubbles. This process known as flotation causes the gold particles to rise to the top of the slurry, where they can be skimmed off and collected. The air bubbles used in the flotation process are generated by special machines, known as flotation cells. These cells are filled with the slurry and create the froth on the surface of the slurry, which traps the gold particles and causes them to rise to the top. 
Once the gold particles have risen to the top of the slurry, they are skimmed off and collected. This process allows the gold to be separated from the other minerals in the ore, and it produces a gold concentrate that is rich in gold. The flotation process is an important step in the extraction of gold from the ore, as it allows the gold to be separated and concentrated, making it easier to refine and purify. It is a crucial part of the overall gold mining process, and it is used in many gold mines around the world. Once the gold has been extracted from the ore and concentrated through the flotation process, it is then ready to be melted down and formed into bars. This process involves heating the gold to a high temperature until it melts and becomes a liquid. The molten gold is then poured into molds, where it cools and solidifies into bars of a standard size and weight. These bars are often stamped with the serial number and the gold's purity, which is measured in carats. Once the gold bars have cooled and hardened, they are ready to be traded and sold on the global market. Gold bars are popular for investment because they are portable, meaning they can be easily transported and liquid, meaning they can be easily bought and sold for cash. In addition, gold is a widely recognized and valuable metal making it a desirable asset for investors. Because of these qualities, gold bars are often used as a way to store wealth and hedge against economic uncertainty. In addition to bars, gold can also be minted into coins, which are often used as legal tender or as collectible items. Gold coins are typically minted in sizes that are easy to trade and transport, and they are also stamped with a purity mark and a face value. And that's how gold is made and extracted from the mines, from deep within the earth, to the refining process, to the final product. It's a fascinating process that showcases the beauty and value of this precious metal. But the process of mining for gold is not without negative impacts on the environment. The use of explosives and heavy machinery can damage the surrounding land and water sources. And the chemicals used in the refining process can pollute the air and water. To mitigate these impacts, many mining companies have implemented sustainable practices, such as using more efficient machinery and treating the wastewater from the refining process. Despite the potential environmental impacts, gold mining remains an important industry, providing jobs and economic benefits to communities around the world. The industry supports the livelihoods of millions of people and contributes to the economies of many countries. In addition to direct jobs created by gold mining, the industry also supports a range of other industries, such as transportation, construction, and engineering, which in turn provide jobs and support economic growth. Furthermore, the taxes and royalties paid by gold mining companies help to fund public services and infrastructure, such as schools, hospitals, and roads. As a result, Gold mining remains an important contributor to the global economy and to the well-being of communities around the world. And as long as there is a demand for gold, the process of mining and refining will continue. The journey of gold from the depths of the earth to the shine of a finished product showcases the beauty and value of this precious metal. Despite the challenges and costs involved in mining and refining gold, it remains a highly sought-after substance that is valued for its beauty, rarity, and durability.